All right, guys, welcome back to The Real South Africa. We are bringing you an inside view of one of the bush lodges that we like to go to, and of course, many others, so we can set you up with that as well when you decide to come with us, The Real South Africa. And of course, man, it's always a nice vibe here, so come and enjoy. And then, of course, we have a book on sale for those that are looking to try to stay in South Africa or repatriate, so check it out on our website. All right, guys, this is the lodge that we're going to be uh, exploring this weekend. And, uh, yeah, let me go through the gate. It's called Mabusu. <laughs> what? Mabazo. Mabazo, Mabuzu. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Let's see. We're going to go. Oh, wow. Okay. It's tight. Yeah, man, here we are. They are waiting for us. Look at this. Yeah, they're waiting for we us. We had a welcome party. Okay. Who knew? And she's okay. telling us where to park. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got going here. All right, let's do it. So, guys, this is what a game lodge generally looks like. So, like, when you see these planks, they, they lead to your cabin where you're staying which normally is really, really nice. And then, of course, you walk into this area here. Now, it depends on where you go. They're, they're all different. I'm actually digging this one because the weather is perfect. And uh, they're being very kind to us. So I really, really like it. And this is mostly inclusive here. So we have a deck up top you can go to. And then, of course... You can come this way, as you see. You got some artwork on the wall. Got everything. And then, of course, there goes there go Tasha. She's doing her thing. I'm She's, ordering our lunch. Sure you are. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, in the evening, you can come out here and have a, have a sit, of course. And then you got all of this. What do you think, Tasha? I think it's cool. I can't wait to come get in the pool because I want an elephant to walk up to us mm -hmm. and uh, drink from the water. Yeah. Not while we're in it. Yeah, I don't know. I might be in it. Then oh, you got this little chill cool. area right here. Oh, I want to lay out here. And then you can lay out here. But think about where you are. In the I middle mean, of the I bush. mean, that right there is the bush. There are active animals out there. <laughs> active. You see that tree in front of me that's all tore up? That's from an elephant. Elephants tear up trees like all the time, and that's a small tree. They they go at it. So, so this is where we are. And then of course, um, later on you're gonna see me in this pool, <laughs> right? And then right here is where Tasha will probably be sitting. No, I'm gonna get in the water too. I mean, she will. It's very hot today, guys. Very, 96, right? Yeah, 96, 97 degrees. But this is where we are. This is pretty freaking cool. Did you cool. walk upstairs? Not yet. Let's go up there. Well, let's finish going over here first okay. so they can see the lounge area. Sorry, I got excited, guys. Yeah, she gets excited. But yeah, this is where we're going to be sitting. And then over here, even though it's hot outside, we got this nice area here. It's very cool. And then we got the guys at the bar here. Hopefully, they can fix us a nice drink. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know if they got it. Oh yeah, they got some Hennessy. They got some monkey shoulders, some Jack Daniels. We're gonna be all right. <laughs> so we got this area here. So of course, guys, I'd like for you guys to tell us what you think. This is amazing. This is how the South, real South Africa rolls. And then now we're gonna follow Tasha upstairs because there's a whole new area over there. This is so cool. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Tasha said I must come see the view. So this is where we are. This is Africa. This is where we belong. It's where we're supposed to be. You know? Or well, at least on the weekend. <laughs> oh my god. So this is this. And then this sun is intense, guys. Yeah. They say the southern sun is a lot more intense than the uh in the northern sun now, which is North America, north of the equator. Let's just go with that. So, even though it says 97 degrees, 
Feels a little bit. <laughs> feels a little bit. Feels a little bit hotter. A little bit hotter. Yeah. Tanning as we just stand right here. Yeah. So, again, guys, we would love to know what you think about what's going on here and what we're doing. And uh, we want you guys to stay with us during this entire journey because I think you're going to absolutely enjoy it. But let me show you this view from up here. Look at that. We got mountains off in the distance. And as we came in, we did see a, hip, uh, a hippo. We saw one. Well, you spotted the elephant, but we. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I did see an elephant um, standing by another lodge. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. forth. So, yeah, this is this is going to be amazing. So, all right, guys, we will see you here in sunny South Africa. Hey, guys, we are still. We just finished a very nice lunch. Um, about to get a few more drinks, of course. And uh, as I'm sitting here, I happen to take a look so you can see what I see but these types of things happen here as you see there's a beautiful elephant playing with a rock he's playing with the rock and I'm gonna show you where we are still we're over here at the resort we're doing our thing and then of course he's actually kicking the rock <laughs> So we're, sitting, we're sitting here. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm sitting here. Yeah, this is cool. But this is what it's about being in nature here in South Africa. We try to explain it to you, but sometimes you just gotta, you know, experience it. You know, you really can't see him behind that rock there. Let me, let me walk over here. And yeah. There he is. He's a massive, massive big boy. Keep in mind that these elephants don't never stop growing. Don't never stop growing. Now, keep in mind we are protected. We have an electric fence right here and whatnot. But, you know, hey, he's an elephant. He's coming my way. Look at him. What are the chances? What are the chances? Keep in mind we're, we're butt up right to... Uh, a national park here so he, as long as he's here he's he's protected and uh, we want to protect our our animals uh, here but he's freaking amazing look how big he is I don't want to get too loud because he might decide okay and of course I could be laying right here oh look at him Keep in mind, guys, it's super hot today. Well, it's not super hot, but it's it's up there. It's in the upper 90s. And he's trying to cool himself off. Of course, he's thirsty as well. It's pretty cool. And then from what I understand, that behind their ears is where they dissipate most of their heat. So you will see him putting water behind his ears. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, that's another thing. He's several times, but the way his feet are made, he really, he really can't um, hear them move. So this thing can walk up on you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and he can see us. You know, he's smart. Super smart. Yeah. You ain't gotta turn your back to me because we got a video, bro. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's shy. I think he. I think he's shy. But again, this is where we are. There go, there go Tasha right there. And uh, this is our current situation. So we would love to have you guys here um, enjoying yourself with us. Um, yeah. <laughs> you got to admit it. This crazy, this South Africa thing is absolutely insane. So I chat with you guys. Hey guys, as you see, the Springbok, I think, or Bless Box, I'm not really sure, have decided to come get something to drink where we are. It's a, it's a lot of them. Actually, I haven't seen this many in a long time. You know, I usually see six or seven of them creeping about. And then there's some back there, and then there's some over here. But they're here. And uh, yeah, this is the coolest part about South Africa, just dealing with the Okay, they they're a little nervous because every time I move, they uh, they jump. But I'm I'm gonna go ahead and let, let them 
drink. I just wanted to show you all this. Of course, that little one up there, she don't care. You can tell it's a female. She don't care. Look at her. She don't care. She's just doing her thing. <laughs> She's like, why y'all tripping? <laughs> he ain't going to do nothing. So, I know if we was in the U.S., they'd be, have all their shotguns out ready to go. <laughs> I'm just playing. Actually, I'm not. I'm not playing. Hey guys, check this out. This is the bar behind me. And uh, these chips are pretty good too. They treat you pretty good out here. I can't complain. Right now, let me check this out. And then of course, they go Tasha over there. Living the American dream. <laughs> no such a thing. You are living the American no such dream. Thing. No such thing. <laughs> no such thing. Yeah. yeah, this should be for everyone. Oh no, I'm not gonna drink anything else because I don't want to be drunk before dinner. Before dinner time. But after dinner, it's on. Okay, cool. So I'm like I said, I'm glad they're taking care of us out here. And of course, we want you guys to come as well to feel a little bit of this freedom. You guys exactly deserve it. And rolling with the real South Africa, ooh, it's my son. Rolling with the real South Africa will make it happen for you. Because obviously this is what we do. You know what, let me go over here. I like it over here. Because they got this wall art, which I really, 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 really like. And of course, like I said, this is a five-star scenario. And uh, so, services impeccable and that's what you want if you never had it before five star level service and you think it's not for you that's not true you deserve it and they will make sure that that you have it and they'll be happy that you're here because everyone has asked us here because they don't know us from joe bird that uh you know where you from i hear your american accent you know it happens you know and it's okay it's not a bad thing it's actually a good thing because they're glad their brothers and sisters have came uh, hung out so we'll probably be having a little dinner right there just under this little situation right here and then the drinks will be coming from that bar that i showed you and then i'm gonna be right here and it's gonna be amazing if i decide to get cold which i won't not tonight got my little got my little stuff here ready to go and if i decide to drown if i just you know if i just decide to drown First of all, I'm going to give you your, your warning. Well, there that is. Look what I got. I got that. So I'm good. Yep. So, again, go ahead and accelerate yourself. Enjoy your life. You don't have to put this on your bucket list. You don't have to wait till you retire at some point. You can actually come enjoy it right now. So, oh, let me go over here. I didn't get a chance to go over here. Now, over here, it's another little chill spot. It's for the kids. You know, get them some, get them some, um, some French fries, or as we say on this side, chips. And then down here, I can tell what it is. This is what we call a boma, and I like the bomas because normally when you get a good crowd of people around, uh, like I say you don't have to come as a group. You can actually just book. If you want to come by yourself, you have just a, just a good time. Okay, so there, there, a bri, it's a bri pit over there, and then you light the fires. And then you would just sit around and talk and laugh and joke and, of course, drink because that's what we do here in South Africa. And just have a good time. Tell stories to people you don't know. And then you'll learn some things about them. And it's fun. And then, of course, you decide to have a, have a pizza. There's actually a pizza oven out here as well. So everything everything is working for you. You, you can't get these types of, uh, of vacations in, in, uh, in the U.S. or even in the Caribbean. You just don't. This is Africa. We can do that stuff, but you can't do this stuff. And so, again, as your representative here in South Africa, and, uh, you know, contact us. We will make it happen. And all that stuff you've been hearing, listen, I don't, you know, there are those that say, you know, you guys make it seem like there's no issues here in South Africa. Listen, 
There's issues everywhere. Right where you're sitting, there's issues. Go pick up your newspaper. Watch the news. We have issues here, but that's not why we're here. We're not here to come monitor the issues of what's going on. We're here to show you what's available for you to relax, to unwind, to, how can I say, you know, mentally decompress and do it at a level where you deserve. Um, so, again, I'm, I'm going to let it go. But go to our website, The Real South Africa, and you'll see exactly what I'm saying, how many people that some came. Hit that testimonials tab, and you just kind of watch a few videos and realize that you have contacted the right people. All right. Hey guys, this is Latasha Blanton from The Real South Africa. We have finally made it to our room. We stopped and had lunch, which you guys already saw. Um, and now we're gonna go into our room and share that with you as well, so follow me. All right guys, I'm here too. My name is Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa, and this is where they have us. And like I said, we love how they like to build these structures inside of the wood line. They don't clear everything out. They want you to be part of it. So. Okay, guys, so we're in room number three, which is the Red Build Buffalo Weaver. I can read. Hooked on phonics work for me. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> Come on inside. All right, this is cool. All right, so we're going to go to the right first, just kind of show you guys how they kind of partitioned off everything. Um, obviously, this is the closet that you can open, mini bar, fridge, fully stocked. You can get whatever you want inside and the there. And cold, by the way. Oh, and the AC blows cold. <laughs> um, for those of you that have to work while you're on vacation, obviously there's a workstation here. And there's Wi-Fi. And there's Wi-Fi. Working Wi-Fi. <laughs> working Wi-Fi. <laughs> We've used them already. Um, and obviously um, it's divided so we can go over into the bedroom now. Okay. All right, guys, you guys can leave your comments. Let us know what you think um, about what you're seeing. And you're probably thinking, wow, this is South Africa. Yes, it is. So just to show you guys, so this door actually opens, but all these doors actually, what do they call them? Accordion doors? Uh, folding doors. Folding doors. So the folding doors will open all of, given all of this space. So take a look at the king size bed. And let me show that. The too. lamps, the backdrop, just gorgeous. I love how simple and easy this place is. Um, it's gorgeous. But we're going to mosey along and walk outside after he keeps taking a shot of the room yeah it's very nice it's a beautiful i think they need room. to see it because no, some of these people are going to want to come for there and it smells good yes it smells so good yes because i think a lot of people so want to come for their special occasions or they just want to get away and do something special never underestimate the bush i know a lot of you are like oh i don't want to go on safari but safari is so much more than saying animals it's really about being at a lodge relaxing exclusivity um just kind of being one with nature getting regrounded yeah. never underestimate that because that's what africa offers Offers. Because we're um, actually going on a safari. We're going to go on a safari. We're not going to go tonight, but we're going to go on a morning game drive, which is our favorite to do. Yeah. Um, so if you come here and it's not spring or somewhere where it's 90 something degrees, you obviously have a working hot tub. I'm going to fill this water and see what we got here. Holy crap, that's like bathtub hot. Yeah. Definitely don't want to get in there right now with it being 90 plus degrees today. But it's there. But it is there. Oh, it's a, oh, that's so cool. Did you see that? Yeah, that's It's a like... wood fired hot tub. Whoa, I never seen Yeah, that is, uh, that is awesome. I didn't know that was even possible. I know it. And they have the little lights for you to have if you want to come out here at night. Um, what I really like about this is the two chairs for you to enjoy being one with nature. I'm sure you can only imagine what happens out here. Um, we were told to leave the door shut because they do have some baboons. But this right here, yeah. the swinging bed, I mean, come on, guys. You have to be able to appreciate this. Can I can't wait, to, can't wait to enjoy this. So yeah. I'm going to walk um, all the way back around, I think, yes, and go into the side door by the bathroom, which I want to show you guys. But you know the, what, Tasha? Hold on. Before we what go. What I miss? What I miss? No, you didn't miss anything. I just want people to understand that, you know, it's really nice being in these scenarios, you know, being out here. And, you know, if, if, if you're not used to being in what you call it, and and uh, I don't know proper nature. Yeah, nature. I call it proper nature. Yeah, yeah. It won't take you but a hot minute to actually Acclimate. calm down and say, yeah. 
Oh, okay. And you want to activate something inside of you that you did not know that you had, meaning that, you know what? I like it outside, especially trust me, when it's the, proper. Yes, because the first time we did this, I was surprised at myself because you know how I feel about being outside. I like it, but mm-hmm. because I spent most of my childhood outside, I try my best to not be outside unless I have to. But I do absolutely enjoy being outside. Okay. Now, as warm as it is right now, guys, this close outdoor that, close that door. This outdoor shower is going to be yeah, that's cash money right there. This outdoor shower and it works. Yeah, look at that. So you can come outside in the morning, and the water is piping hot already because it's been yeah. sitting in the pipe. Nobody can see you. Nobody's out here. You no. just take you a nice hang your shower. robes up yeah. right oh, there. Yeah. Hang your robes up and just get it. So I'm definitely going to take one of those, whether it be at night mm-hmm. or in the morning. I'm definitely going to take one yeah. of those. And then there's another shower around the inside. So then you step parallel to the outdoor shower. I mean, honestly, we could probably both take showers, one inside, one outside, and then switch places. I'm outside. I want to be outside. We can switch places. Okay. So another working shower right here, everything you need. Um, And then we're just going to come into the bathroom. I'm going to use this tub as well. Um, You can't go wrong with this beautiful soaking tub. Look, guys, they got bath salts already for you to go. Mm wonderful little bath bomb yeah. here that smells amazing and a candle for you to light so you can fully yeah. fully fully relax yeah. and fully, this, is fully a five, relaxed. this is a five star scenario so this is what it should be so for example let's say you're you're in this tub and Tasha's over there standing by the <laughs> <laughs> oh and these doors open yeah. oh these doors open so you can actually open. open the doors and get a nice cool place. yeah 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 but if you want to leave the doors closed and you want to lower the um the shade and get a really nice relaxing you, have, you know got that privacy issue thing going on <laughs> you got that going on. you don't want to um what do you you don't want to um an animal walking up on you. Yeah, say, so, hey, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, even if an animal walked up on you, I'm sure he wouldn't He wouldn't bother. Oh, there it is. I wanted to open the door, babe. Yeah, there you go. Open the door. Oh, look, look, look. I mean, can you imagine that? I mean, this is... This is... I, I do like it. I'm going to figure out how I can use everything before we leave here. Yeah, look at that. Okay. All right, yeah. so I'm going to lock these doors back, but... Again, people, I'm asking you guys just to give us some some feedback and tell, let me know what you think. Because like I said, this is Africa and all this is here, you know, for us to come and have a proper vacation. You know, you saw earlier where there's a nice bar area, there's a pool out there, and then of course they have a kitchen and so forth. So you could do that as well. So yeah. And then of course there's a bathroom right here. I think Tasha passed it, but there's a bathroom right here bathroom here yeah. so it's, it's separate from everything else which makes it easier for privacy yeah. um just take, a just take a peek inside yeah so you're not losing any any facilities that you were used to having in the united states you, you, you still have that as well and you don't have to lose anything not that you're probably going to gain while you're here in south africa and here's the last thing i want to show you guys which is amazing so obviously tonight we have the option to lay with the doors open actually i got one more thing to show you too but there's a remote controls for the blinds that i just opened up so we're gonna hit the um so that opens it and then obviously if you want to close it close i see what happens we're gonna close them both it might get a little dark in the video guys but i just want to show you yeah, um but the good part about it is those doors open up all the way so you haven't got out of bed yet you see top is Standing by the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standing by the bed. And they left a little note for us. So we're going to read this and see how nice they are for leaving a note for us. If I can get in it. They tied this Rafi super tight. Mine too. They, they set up a silver fan as well. They did. So they, so they thought of everything for you. They did. So basically, they gave us the password to the Wi Fi. They said, Dear Mark and Latasha, welcome to Mbazo Lodge. We're delighted to have you as our guest. We wish you a wonderful and relaxing stay full of excitement that only the bush can offer. And they're correct because the bush can only offer certain things. And we're going to share those things with you. So we're going to be here for a couple days. Um, we do hope that you guys enjoy this video. And for the most part, just kind of think about having yourself here. Think about having an uh, anniversary or a birthday here. Um, that's all I can think about right now. Well, so. actually, don't worry about setting it up for yourself because we're going to do that for you. That's what we do. We have a relationship with pretty much everyone, and we want to leverage that relationship so you can come 
with your spouses or just you know some people just want to get away yeah they want to come by themselves yeah. you need you a little bit away before this come to south africa if you never got away you can come here and we will you will land in johannesburg about three hour drive up nice scenic beautiful drive mm -hmm. you get a chance to see the mountains you get a chance to see the terrain and then all of a sudden you're here you get dropped off here you are yeah, and uh, tomorrow we have, um, like I said, our morning game drive, and then we have um, some spa services we're going to partake in. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing those as well, knowing that they do offer those things. And um, it's all-inclusive, so drinks are included as well. Mm -hmm. So you will see a lot of imbibing. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but thank you guys for allowing us to share these things with you, and um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the sunny South Africa day.
All right, guys, Latasha Blanton here with The Real South Africa. We are on our way to dinner. So if you guys will follow me, I'm going to show you what the deco looks like for dinner. And y'all guys, I am here too. I know you guys miss me. I know you guys are like, where is Mark? Well, Mark is here too. She didn't get rid of me just yet. But this is going to be a great night. Okay, so we're going to... And we're going to go to our table now, which is... Sort of. All right, guys, we're here. Um, where are we? We're at the Rhino Park, and we got Tasha here, too. She's she's here, so if you hear her chatting... Hey, guys, I'm here. <laughs> we haven't got rid, rid of her yet, but this is pretty awesome. I like how they how they put up the, the red lights all over the place. It kind of gives you a nice little feel um, about what we're, what, we're, what we're doing. And, of course, this is what you're going to have when you get here. There's obviously, you can go upstairs, which we're not going to do right now. We'll show you later. But then again, I showed y'all guys this place during the day. And it's, it was amazing. But right now we're at nighttime and it's still amazing. It's still amazing. And I still like this artwork. This is, this is something else. So again, keep in mind that out there, it's nothing but, it could be it's animals out there, um, wildlife, but we're safe and, and we're okay. So this is what it looks like. What do you think? This is something else. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, something about the African night sky. If you catch over there, they see a little bit of pink. You guys can see over there, off there in the distance. And uh, we picked our table, but I like the fact that it's open. Um, you can hear sights and sounds of the uh, animals that are you know you're scared, here. Tasha. Do you know I, you're scared? I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm not scared. And you're they not scared? <clears throat> no, 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 no. Okay, see, you gonna mess around and slip. No, no, no. I'm not gonna slip and fall. I like that it's lit up, but this is nice out here at night. Yeah. Very beautiful. Let me, it's, show, let me show y'all guys again. This is how it. This is how it is at night. And uh, you see that bar over there? That's what I'm most concerned with. <laughs> get that bar situation. Oh, he's coming just now. <laughs> what do we got here? This is lovely. Thank you, sir. Just Cheers. A very nice drink. I'll yeah. enjoy it, of course. I got <laughs> mine already, but I'm going to hand this to you, babe. Oh, okay. Well, can you just hold on to it for me? Oh, I can I taste it? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. So, but this is where we are. Lovely. So, No. <clears throat> um, all right, guys. Let me let me put this. Let me um, show y'all a little bit. Stand over there. Okay. Look, under the light. There's lights over there. I know, just the. <clears throat> okay. oh, I can get in. Okay, so we keep it. <sighs> All right, guys. Like I said, this place is amazing. I almost fell back. I don't know if y'all noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you taste this now. Yeah, let's see. So what, what do I have here, Tosh? Um, He said it's amarula and ginger and hmm. a little slice of kiwi on the side. Hmm. But it tastes um, really, really nice. Hmm. There's no vodka in there, is it? No vodka. Okay. Now, this is actually... This is that. It's nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, today we had a really good day. Uh, you guys have been following us. We drove up today from Johannesburg. Nice little three-hour drive, you know, no issues. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, no issues. And then we arrived, and of course, you guys saw it. We got, you know, we got us a drink up on arrival. Mm -hmm. You know, they greeted us properly like they should. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we came here and had us a nice lunch. We did a great lunch, and then we enjoyed the wood, <laughs> um, wood fire heated 
tub. She, she's, she's trying to figure out what it was. Basically, like, it, it was a hot tub, and then they had this little apparatus that fits in it. And then, it, even though it was already warm because it's really hot, hot today, here, yeah. Um, you put fire in it, and then it heats up, and then it heats up the water. Yeah, you know, and it's, it's, it's nice. So it's we nice. actually we actually got into that as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we did a lot of things, and we're going to do more. Um, we're going to kind of give you a, a snapshot into our dinner because I think Tasha ordered what salmon. And then I got something that she ordered for me. What was it again? <laughs> a rack of lamb. Yeah. A lamb rack. Yeah. So you so you really can't go wrong wrong with um, uh, lamb. No. Can't you, go wrong. You haven't met a lamb you don't like. <laughs> I mean, they're good. They're good. They are nice. Can you for me, Tasha? I would love to. Great. 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 May Might I have... taste it? Sure. So now I wanted to show y'all guys our sunset. This is what we're. This is exactly what we're looking at right now in real life so there is the option for all of you guys to come to south africa and we think that you should i know you're used to your normal places you haven't been here before you're thinking oh i need to move there to come to these places no you don't we got you set come have a good time and just absolutely enjoy yourself so we're going to do our thing our tables over there so we're going to walk in that direction and the next time you see us we're going to be eating Shoving something down our face. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna put your drink down, babe. All right, guys. All right, guys. We are still. What's the name of this place? Tasha? Mbazo, or M- is it? <clears throat> I want to say Mbazo, but it's Mbazo. Yeah, I think it's called the the Black Rhino something. It's in the Black Rhino Game Reserve. Yeah, something like that. But uh, yeah. What are you having again? Oh. I don't remember. Lamb. Ah, uh, you know the deal. His Got, favorite thing. Yeah, we decided to, you know, grab us something to eat here. Um, it's, it's part of the environment, so we decided to do that. Yeah. And then, of course, we have a nice bottle of white wine to go along with our meal. Mm-hmm. So I think we are winning, would you say? We are. This is the beauty of... Um, all-inclusive five-star dining at a five-star lodge. So I feel like I'm deserving. I feel like I've <laughs> done my part this week for king and country, even yeah. though the week is literally just starting today. Yeah. But yeah. I needed a little bit of a respite. Oh. So, And I wanted to say um, thanks to the person who sent us a, a message <laughs> saying that they've never in their life seen so many African-Americans yes, yes, yes. in South Africa. And so they gave us a lot of credit. Um, for that happening. And I guess that could be the case. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, I think when it comes to showing South Africa in a positive light. I mean, it's not really just the positive. It's what we see. Yeah, it you is know? what we see. So people, Some people want us to see something else. Yeah. And if I saw it, then I'd chat about it. But I just don't seem to have that. Yeah, so I'm excited to just be a part of you know, what's happening here in the country. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's salmon. Yeah, what about it? That thing look like it's, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's that, thick, it's too. It's thick, yeah. It's very thick. Got some vegetables going along with that. And I I'm sure those it. are good, too. Matter of fact, I'm going to gonna jump on my You got your own vegetables. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you got your own vegetables. Yeah, but like I said, we just wanted to thank him and many others who have reached out to us and saying, you know what? I didn't know anything about South Africa. That is lovely. Yeah, I know, right? (laughs) And I had no intentions of coming. And there are those that go as far as to say, you know what, I wouldn't have never came, so thank you. Now we had this experience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I'll never forget it. And to me, that's a lot. To those that are saying, you know what, you changed my life. I I didn't know. You know, I mean, we've heard that a few times. Would you you, um, agree? We've heard it quite a few times. I mean, yeah. our intention is just to show you what we see, <clears throat> um, provide a service to you so you can travel worry-free. Mm. Tom, is it nice? It's really good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, so, no, Excuse I, me for eating in your ear, guys. No, but I think we're succeeding. And uh, for those that are you know, on the fence that are like, oh, I want to... You know, I see what you guys are doing. I want to do the same thing. I want to have that experience. And the reality is there's nothing stopping you from having that experience. You just, just got to decide. No, not even decide. You just got to give us a call. Yeah. And then whatever your issue is, uh, 
well, you know, I don't, how many shots I got to get? Or None. <laughs> do I need a visa? No. no. Do I need this? Or I heard, you know, we don't do a lot of I heard's. If you want to come, then we will um, make, make a, a way. Mm -hmm. And like what you're seeing behind us, I mean, we're out, we're literally in the bush, you guys. We're, <laughs> They're, we're in the bush. Mm -hmm. we're, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're protected by an electrical fence, but we're in we're, the bush. We're in the bush. You can't get any better than this. And the stars are bright tonight. No and, light noise. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful, you know? And um, our lodge, as you guys seen it earlier, is amazing. And we all need that in our life. Even if, even if you're coming here just to do six days, 10 days, 13 days, a month or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you gotta go back, that's fine. But at least you have to have the experience, you have to start somewhere. Yes. Yeah, so even if you're saying, okay, well I only could do six days, you know, what can you do for me? Then we can- We'll make it work. Yeah, we will figure out how to make six days feel like 10 days, and 10 days feel like 13, and 13 feel like- <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> well, it'll make it feel like longer than two weeks, yeah, because you're gonna, sure. you're gonna get a chance to do a lot of stuff. Yeah. But when you go back, you're gonna know a lot more about- Yourself. <laughs> yeah, I hear you tell. You know, what it means to be African, because you, you hung around Africans. You know, we don't put you inside a gate and say, hey, you're here, eat some decent food and, mm -hmm. and, and some watered down drinks and here, jump in that pool for a week and then you go back. No, 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 no. That's, that's, no, no we don't, no, we don't no. do that. You actually get to explore on your own a little bit. I mm -hmm. mean, some things are planned, but a lot of what you'll be able to do will just come from walking outside your door, mm -hmm. which is the beauty of being here because there's always something to do. Yeah. Literally always something to do. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there. I just want you guys to, you know, uh, like I said, we're eating dinner. Obviously, we just, we, just, we just got served. We didn't even know it was coming out, but it came out so quick. Mm -hmm. um, well cooked, obviously. And uh, we appreciate all the services that we have gotten so far. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, we're going to be out early in the morning. Early, gonna, early. Yeah, 530. We're going to you know, drink some coffee first. Mm -hmm. um, Tasha's going to try to get some, what's that stuff in there? Some. She's going to try to get some amarula in there first. <laughs> and my coffee. Yeah, and her coffee. We, she's always doing something. <laughs> and then um, we're going to go on a game drive. And uh, we love morning game drives because that's when the animals are first up. It's cool. Mm -hmm. They're so and, busy. And they're active um, and so forth. And then we will, um, you know, let you know what's going on um, with us. And keep in mind that this whole country has stuff like this. And um, we can organize anything for you. Okay? You don't have to do it on, the, do it on your own, you know. So, all right, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to finish eating. Yep, and we'll chat with you later. Bye. Come and visit beautiful Cape Town. Be a tourist in the city of gold, Johannesburg. Enjoy the warm water of the Indian Ocean and Durban. Interact with wildlife on a private game reserve luxury five-star hotels, and of course, world-class spas. Contact The Real South Africa today for your African adventure. Thanks so much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.